It's no secret if you want to maintain an absolute beautiful reef tank that you need to maintain excellent water quality. Part of maintaining excellent water quality is minimizing the amount of TDS creep that is entering your reef tank. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at one of these devices that can help you monitor the amount of TDS that potentially could enter into your reef tank. But before we jump into that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video because I do videos like this all the time. Now let's dive into what exactly TDS is. So in short, what TDS stands for is total dissolved solids. Now, when you're talking about water, total dissolved solids doesn't really sound all that great. And it's probably not anything that should be entering into your reef tank, especially because most of those solids consist of metals, salts, and other inorganics. And this is why RODI filters are so important to the reef keeping hobby because it purifies your water. It's going to do a lot of the work for you. It's going to remove that TDS from your aquarium to reduce TDS creep in your reef tank and help you have the most pure water that you possibly could have for your reef tank. Whether that be for your auto top off or mixing salt water, either way, you cut it, you need to measure your TDS. And how you do that is with a TDS meter. Now, this is a inline variety and it can actually be installed into the workings of your RODI filter. There's also handhelds and both of these are great options and they're going to help you measure your TDS and help avoid huge problems from happening in your reef tank. Now, what I want to do in today's video is I want to dive into how to up your TDS meter game. I am going to be installing an additional TDS meter into my RODI filter. I already have one that's built in. I'm going to be installing a second one just for a little bit more redundancy. And without further ado, let's see what I went with for my RODI filter. Okay, so we have the Auto Aqua Digital Inline TDS meter. This is the Titanium one. A couple things about this product uh, before we go ahead and open it up and take a look at it. Um, this is a product that I have featured on a number of top 10 uh, product videos, the must-haves of reef keeping. Um, there's going to be links to those in the show notes if you guys want to check those out. And this has been featured uh, one or two times. And Auto Aqua is putting out some really interesting products that help reef keepers and this is definitely one of them as far as setting it up and ease of use there really isn't much better out there on the market as far as secondary tds meters uh, so let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what they're all about now as far as an unboxing goes um, there isn't a whole lot to it as far as the warranty on this guy it's one year from the purchase date you actually can write in your purchase date on the box uh, then it kind of breaks down the instructions for this so um, you have to pull out the protective tab on the battery so it actually will work you insert it into the T mount and then cut your source water not I'm sorry not your source water product water or the water that has passed through the filter uh, that line you cut that and then just simply insert on both ends and then it's going to uh, be installed it's pretty easy to do there you have it you have the TDS uh, digital inline meter as far as the connection it's quick connects it's pretty easy to install let me grab a pair of scissors all right so you have the ability to calibrate this which is uh, absolutely phenomenal to be able to calibrate that so that you actually know that what it is reading is accurate um, and that's something that I haven't seen with a lot of meters. There are meters out there uh, that you basically, you have to just kind of hope that they are accurate. Um, and this one, having the ability to calibrate it, pretty huge deal. It has this little protector on the actual probe. Then we have our quick connect. And as you can see right here, it's pretty simple in its design. It looks pretty similar to a lot of the quick connects that are for RO setups and all we're going to do is remove the pro protector stick that in it's kind of the same width as the ro tubing 
then we're going to cut our product water or our outfeed line of the RO system splice it with this put this in remove that co uh, remove that battery protector and then we'll be in business so uh, pretty pumped to get this guy set up on the RO filter and hopefully we're gonna have a little bit of redundancy as far as what our RO system um, is potentially or not producing for TDS because uh, having TDS creep in your reef tank is definitely going to cause some problems and uh, we want to get this guy up and running here pretty quick so let's run down to the basement uh, I'm gonna grab a pair I think I might need something a little bit thicker than or a little bit beefier than scissors uh, to install this guy but um, let's go grab something to cut the line with and actually I think I have a line cutter somewhere Hopefully I can find it really quick. Um, so I'm going to grab something to cut the line, bring this guy downstairs, and install it in the RO filter. Alright guys, so we're down here in the basement, and I have, uh, I think, everything that I need uh, to get this TDS meter installed. And this is my uh, PureTech RODI filter that I've had for a good amount of years. Um, I think it's like three I'd say three years I've had this RO DI filter and definitely have been putting it through the paces um, it does come with everything that you see this is stock this isn't anything added to it uh, it does have a built-in TDS meter which I have never had the ability to calibrate so obviously there's always that little bit of doubt uh, whether or not how accurate it is it comes with a pump um, which helps boost the water through the membrane and then right. increases uh, the amount of water going through the RO membrane and also increases the efficiency of it and then from the RO membrane goes into the DI resin and then goes into uh, my holding container which you guys can see right here from time to time I will change out the filters I do have some pre filters that need to go in there this first pre filter right here is looking a little dingy uh, so it's probably time to change that out and I'm sure the carbon uh, block that is in the next pre filter needs to go too I also have an RO membrane uh, to change this out but I haven't done it yet and I've been kind of waiting to get this meter installed the only thing that's really a hang up with this is I don't have a way to calibrate this TDS meter so um, I do have some calibration fluid on the way and I will put together a video on calibrating this but for now we're gonna get it installed we're gonna run it for a little bit see how it performs and I do need to make uh, some more water because I'm about half full on this 65 gallon uh, container here and I also uh, make some fresh RO water uh, for the week so I have my auto top off so let's go ahead and I'm gonna have to move the camera here because it's a pretty tight spot um, but I thought of it a couple different ways I was gonna install this meter uh, but what I originally thought was just cutting this piece right here and installing it having it sticking off to the side also thought about because I run it's kind of hard to see but I run the hose on the top of the our it's not really the ceiling but the floor of the house I run it along to um, another tank as well and it also uh, goes into uh, this tub as well so there's a couple things going on I got some switches that I can turn off and on to be able to move water around uh, but I figured the best way that I could probably set myself up with this meter is install it right here uh, this is a quick connect this is where the built-in TDS meter plugs into the water so it's it's measuring the water it's coming out of this it always says zero so we we don't know if it's accurate uh, but hopefully we get this installed and then calibrate it and we'll have a good understanding as to um, how well this RO system is performing and at the very least um, a little bit of redundancy between the two meters so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and reset this camera and cut some lines and see how quick it is to install this meter all right so we're kind of set up here um, I was running this just a minute ago so there's probably a lot of water 
uh, built up in here so when I do cut it it's probably gonna drain out a little bit I could just remove this clip right here and pull out the quick connect and do it that way either way I'm cutting uh, some tubing and it's pretty easy to cut I'm just gonna use some scissors lighting isn't the best in here guys I apologize for that but what I would like to have uh, this meter just kind of sit out kind of like at an angle right here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one thing about using scissors it does pinch that line a little bit more than I'd like it to be pinched uh, but then so we have our quick connect that we're going to install right here and then you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna shorten this line up a little bit Just put it right there Love these quick connects. The only thing that'd be better um, with the Auto Aqua setup is if they had these little clips uh, to pull out these quick connects to make sure that they're a good, there's a good amount of tension on there, just so that there isn't going to be, you know, because that pump could blast that hose out. Again, we'll run it for a couple weeks. Uh, when I do the calibration video on this guy. Uh, we'll see how well that's hold up and see if there's been any issues with that uh, But right now what we're gonna do is remove actually we should pull this piece of plastic out here um, From that so it powers up Just like that it's starting to work. Uh, you gotta be very delicate with the two probes and then we're gonna go ahead And stick this guy in just like that we are off to the races pretty easy um, the only thing that I'm really concerned about right now is water pressure so we're really gonna do the test here I'm gonna go ahead uh, reset I'm gonna take my hose line or the end of the hose put it in an empty container we're gonna turn on this RO system and see uh, just how well this whole deal is going to set up, especially with that uh, booster pump, because that is something that I am concerned about right now. Alright, so we've got the uh, outfeed of the RO set up. We're going to go ahead and plug in the RO system. One thing I absolutely love about this RO is it has a countdown feature, and before every time before it kicks on, it does a flush for. 15 seconds um, it's just doing a very good cleaning of the RO filter and I think that that's done a lot to extend the life of that membrane uh, definitely something that I think has been a really good feature about this RO setup so it's holding up pretty good you can hear that ticking I got the mic pointed back at me right now uh, but you can see there's a good amount of pressure right there a hundred PSI uh, coming out of the RO membrane after it passes or actually before it passes through the RO membrane and then we have the ability to just hit that button it turns on it's doing a reading we got water going to the tub right now and we have redundancy in our TDS meter we got zero zero parts per million here and parts per million zero parts per million there as well uh, so outside of calibrating this and seeing where it's at um, which we'll do a video on that here in the future it seems like it's holding up it's doing what it needs to do uh, so I'm probably gonna shut this down change out these pre filters and then make some water for some top off for this week all right folks that's going to do it for this one if you enjoyed this one make sure you hit the thumbs up and if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about rodi filters check this video out i'll see you over there